Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to show you the skincare products that I got for my recent trip in South Korea. I mainly bought them at Olive Young and I really hope you will enjoy the video. So let's get started. The first product I got is the Revive Eye Serum by Beauty of Joseon. It is infused with ginseng and it has a 2% retinal content. In my opinion, it is quite elevated, so make sure to patch test it on your wrist or arms before applying it to your face. Other than the color, which is yellowish and I'm not really a fan of, I've been really liking this product and I've been using it for other areas of my face as well. The second product I got is the Barbie's Beeswax Lip Balm, which was a very famous product a few years ago, but nowadays I don't think a lot of people use it. I like the minty smell, but I just can't get over the fact that it dries my lips every time I apply it. Then I bought Vaseline. I can't tell you how grateful I am that I decided to give it a go. First of all, it is so cheap in Korea because this tube was only 2001 and this is the original version and I was a bit skeptical at first. I've been using it for various purposes like lip balm or just to lock in moisture and I honestly love it. This is the Bring Green Bamboo Charcoal Pore and Blackhead Cleansing Oil. I have not used it yet, but I picked it out because I've been trying double cleansing at night. So I plan on using it on its own just to really clean my pores and any sebaceous fillings that may have formed at the end of the day. Honestly, I have not seen many people use it, so I'm quite curious to find out how good it actually is. Then we have one of my favorite products so far. This is the Nature Republic Aloe Vera Soothing and Moisture Gel. I got this at the Nature Republic store for only 5001 and it has been life changing. It's not moisturizing as it claims but rather very soothing and hydrating. It has a 92% aloe vera extract and it has a very light jelly consistency. I love the consistency of this gel and how fast it absorbs in the skin. It has a strong yet subtle smell and is not too intrusive and whenever I feel like I need some hydration, this gel feels extremely refreshing. Now, this is the only body product I got, it's the Naturi Hatomugi Skin Conditioner. I love the packaging of this Japanese product honestly and I had already used the body lotion from the same line and I really enjoyed using that. I decided to try the skin conditioner because it is lighter, it absorbs faster and the smell is not strong at all. You can either use it on its own to get quick hydration or combine it with your favorite lotion. Then we have a staple for me, which is the Cosarex Acne Pimple Master Patches. I love pimple patches even though I know there has been some controversies regarding whether they actually help or worsen pimples, but for me it helps me in not touching the pimple. Now I know that there are a lot of brands producing pimple patches, but I always find myself going back to this one by Cosarex. So, I also bought this cleanser by Cosarex, which is the salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser. I decided to pick this out as salicylic acid is known to gently exfoliate the skin and for me, a lot of dirt tends to build up during the day. I wanted to try something to use on a daily basis, but also gentle, so I wanted to give this one a try. I have not tried this yet, but I really have high expectation because I generally like Cosarex products. And now we have another Cosarex product. This one is actually one of my favorites. It's the Cosarex Full Fit Properly Synergy Toner. I love this product and it has been a staple for me for the past three years. It always leaves my skin nourished, soft, extremely moisturized and always glowy. I love building up multiple layers for my skin barrier to repair. And since introducing this in my morning routine, I can't do it without it. Thank you. 
Another fundamental step in the Korean skincare are sheet masks, so I got this one by Sunjung. I got 20 of these, so 2 packages of 10, and I'm not someone who does a sheet mask every day, but it feels good to be pampered every now and then. And this mask is extremely hydrating, making it ideal for sensitive or irritated skin. This is the Abib Jerica Rose Collagen Pad Firming Touch. They are collagen infused pads which are designed to firm the skin, helping to improve its elasticity and overall appearance with regular use. I have not tried this yet, but this version came with an extra 100 pads and I'm so looking forward to start using it. Now, this package I got from South Korea, so I'm not sure if it's available online as well with the extra 100 pads, but overall this brand is quite popular even in South Korea and what I like the most about it is um, the packaging because you get mini tweezer that you can use to get the singular pad out of the tube every time you need to use it so I found it extremely hygienic Instead, I have already been using the Abib Heartleaf Spot Pad Calming Touch. They are specifically formulated to calm and treat spots on the skin. And these pads are a convenient solution to target areas of redness or inflammation. Now, I love wearing this at night for 5-10 to 10 minutes to ease my skin. And the pads present two faces. One is rougher to exfoliate and the other one is smoother to provide hydration. Now, also this set comes with tweezers and I'm almost done with my first one and I've been really liking this product as it leaves my skin quite soft. Next, we have the Nature Republic Vita PRC Dark Spot Serum. I wanted to try a vitamin C serum to help my skin recover from acne or very harsh pimple scars. And this product is the one that I chose. It's very light, not sticky, and it has helped me in protecting my skin. You can use it together with the cream, and this is what I've been doing. And I can say that my skin has been looking brighter and less dull for sure, but I have not used it long enough to say that there have been significant changes. But please don't make the same mistake as me as to expose vitamin C to direct sunlight as it is photosensitive and thermosensitive as well. As I said, I also bought the cream version, so this is the Nature Republic Vita PRC Dark Spot Cream and each package comes with two tubes inside. It is the first time for me trying two products from the same line, but I wanted to see whether they will work well together. Now, this moisturizer has microgranules inside that melts as soon as the cream heats up and overall I can say that it has helped me to reduce the appearance of scars and even on my skin tone, but I strongly detest the lemon smell unfortunately and lastly we have the Anwa Earthleaf 77% soothing toner now I know that this product went extremely viral last year and I've heard a lot of contrasting reviews I know that some people loved it while others didn't really see an effect it has a high concentration of heart leaf extract and it provides soothing properties. It has no smell, it feels like water and it can be built up so you can use multiple layers during the same routine. It honestly is so light, you don't even feel it on your skin and for me it has been useful to use when my skin is extremely irritated, for example when I have a fresh pimple or something, just to like use it a little bit, it has really helped calm the irritation down. And this bundle is from Olive Young and it comes with a refill and a sheet mask too with the same properties. So yeah, this is it, I hope you guys enjoyed and bye bye!